It has been a little bit manic. It's cloudy, it's miserable, but I've just had breakfast. There's gonna be a lot of this now. A lot of bricks, a lot of blocks. Don't worry, mate, you've got it. It's completely fine. Morning guys, let me show you what we're going to be cracking on with today on site. We will be burying this massive silt trap here. As you remember, the French drain runs down the garden into the soak away. Perforated pipe comes all the way down around the back, bury the silt trap in to the depth that it needs to be. That perforated pipe goes into the back there. Connect the six inch pipe, which runs along here. See where the stake is that marks the end point of it. Into there and we're away. It's going to go maximum effort, excavate all of this and dig it out, set up a time lapse so you can see. Little weather update, it is raining. Well, it was raining. It's cloudy, it's miserable, but I've just had breakfast. It's Friday. Most importantly, how's the handy going? Pretty well. I'm about a foot down. <laughs> about where we want to be with the silt trap now. Don't worry about the excess on the top there. We'll be uh, taking that down to the correct height. These do come free. All right, guys, that is a wrap today. We have done everything that we need to do. Silt trap is pretty much nearly done leveled it off with the pea gravel underneath, started dumping the pea gravel in the sides, the six inch pipe there is connected to the reducer and the perforated pipe going around the back into that reducer there. So it is time to go home and enjoy the weekend. Cheers for watching guys, see you soon. Right then, now is the time to get these bad boys in, aka lintels. We're going in to the slot. So that's it, they're in, they're in the hole. All we gotta do now is a final bit of adjustment and these will be good to go. So guys, that is it, the end of another day. Alex has made excellent progress as ever. The lintels are in, or what was it Joe called them? Concrete bad boys, yeah, they're the ones, them ones. They're all in, home time. So thanks for watching us today and we'll see you tomorrow. Today, we've got more brickwork going up. There's gonna be a lot of this now. A lot of bricks, a lot of blocks. Alex is gonna be a busy man. So he's just getting the laser level set up now just to make sure he's exactly where he wants to be with the rest of all these courses. Neil's out the front, knocking up some muck. So we're just getting the laser set up now because this course here is basically the governor for our block and beam. So we need to make sure this is right everywhere. So now that is set to the height of that course which is matched with everything else that he's already laid. So now we can go over and see exactly where we need to be over here.
So basically today, what we're gonna do is this. Joe is just uncovering our drain because we've got to get in a gully over in that corner of the building to take this half of our pitch roof and our flat roof. The rainwater of that is then going to run down into our gully, across into our silt trap and then down into our soakaway over there. We'll expose that area out and then we're just going to channel out straight away across here to this corner, get a Y connection on there so the perforated pipe can go into the side of the Y and then a straight run then down to our gully here. What we've also got to do is grade some of this land back because the clients aren't having any slot drains around the perimeter like we would normally do. We're basically governed by 150 mil below damp for our ground level, which means we can actually have another course on top of this outer skin here. So you can see that we're just a little bit too high, not by much, probably 100 mil at the most, if that. We just need to grade away all this, also all this area down the side of the building as well. But all we'll do is just grade that back over on top of the foot in there, just to basically make sure that we come within building regs. Also what we need to do as well is get these perforations filled on these because we need a solid base for our block and beam, which is arriving later on in the week. So we're going to just mix up a one to three mix and just slurry in these holes, fill all the perforations so it's nice and solid and gone off ready for the block and beam. So what I've been off to the merchants, Joe has chamfered this down now. So we've got a nice angle running from our corner point over there down to here. This gives us the fall that we need and also enough to get our P gravel underneath the four inch pipe. So this T piece will go on there like so. We'll have to put a couple of bends on it as well. So we'll have to use a few offsets just to get everything running straight. And we're basically gonna put in a full length of pipe, run up to about here, and then we're gonna leave it. We're gonna bag the end over, we're gonna cover it all over because depending on where we actually decide to put the down pipe, depending on our soffits as well, wherever they land, we may need to adjust slightly. So just take a measurement off the side of the building so we know exactly where the end of it is. We can soon scrape some of this away and then do our connections later on. So we've got all our connections done. Our perforated pipe goes into our T-piece and then we've put a 15 degree offset on here. She's just gonna run our pipe over. So what we're gonna do now, get some pea gravel underneath and surround the pipe with pea gravel and then get all this back filled over. Right, all our pea gravel is in. We have bagged up the end of the pipe here. Now what we're gonna do is backfill all this. We're gonna get rid of this soil here and then, because we need to grade all this off, like I mentioned earlier, to come down to 150 mil below damp, we're gonna just use basically what we grade off to backfill this. And we'll also just fill right up to here and we can just dig that out. I took a measurement from the corner and out so we know exactly where that is so we can expose that at a later date. Gonna get the site cleared up massively and get prepped ready for the brickers to arrive, the block and beam to arrive, so we've got lots going on. We have graded all this area back around here, so we're just gonna get all this covered over with boards. We're also gonna get all this cleared, all the bricks around here, the blocks, sand, etc. Oh morning Joe by the way. Morning. Alright mate? Yeah, good. So when the brickers are getting all the block work laid, me and Joe are gonna get all this area down here excavated and get our new inspection chambers in. I may have mentioned before that the chamber which is under here, you can just see that four inch pipe going into it, that chamber is being moved to here. And then what we're gonna do is put a new chamber in here as well to take all the services from in there, which will be the new shower room.
got all this lot all loaded out. We've got all our blocks in. These will do our floor. We do need to get a load more blocks here, yeah, both thermalites and concrete blocks, but we'll get that sorted tomorrow. We've got a load of sand ready, all our cement ready as well, so when the brickies get here, they can drop straight on with this and smash through it. We're going home to rest and recover, ready for tomorrow. So, see you then. Morning, Joe. Morning. Morning. Right, so today's goal, first up, is to get all these perforated bricks filled. So Joe has mixed us up a nice, Moist mix. Moist mix. Moist mix. We like a moist mix. So that is going to flow nicely into our perforations. And then we'll flat it all off. So these bricks are nice and solid then. The reason we do that rather than getting solid engineers is because it's more cost effective to do it this way. So before you ask, why don't we just get solid engineers? That is why. So we're just going to whip around this now, get all this filled in, get it all smoothed off so it's ready. The block and beam is going to land today so we can get all that loaded out. Also, our uh, facing brickworks for these courses here, which we're obviously going to run around the perimeter. They are getting delivered today as well, so we can get all those loaded out and ready. There's a post here, which has got to be removed. This godfather's coming out. So we're going to take that out just to give us extra access through here. And then we can still get our tack barrow through once the building is up. So we can still carry on with everything as we need to and make our life easier. Because we all like an easy life, don't we? So. Joe has not done this before, so I'm going to teach him what to do on camera whilst showing you guys at home. All we're doing, mate, is literally just cleaning these off so it's nice and flush all the way across. And then we're just going to get some muck into all the perforations. Yeah. Yeah, and then we're just going to scrape it off. Keep it nice and flat so we don't have any muck on top of the brick. We're just literally just filling the holes in, and that is it. Easy. No pressure, Joe. <laughs> Next up onto the fence, basically we need to break this concrete out and then we'll put a temporary post fixed to the side of this post, straight into the ground because this post isn't actually touching the ground, it's fixed to the godfather. So once that's gone, this fence is just going to be flapping around and then that gives us enough room in here then to get our tack barrow through comfortably so we can carry on loading out whenever we need to whilst the build is going on. So what I'm going to do, because I'm a little bit concerned because it is a little bit windy today, I don't want this to go over while we're doing all this, so I'm just going to get a couple of rebars either side of this fence panel just to hold it steady so it doesn't go anywhere and then we'll use the breaker get that concrete out get the godfather out get rid of all this area here so we can get the tap barrow in nicely and we're just gonna have a bit of a tidy up get rid of all this stuff as well get that in our compound out the way That will go nowhere now. We'll leave our free bar in as well, just as an extra precaution. So guys, lighthouse are here. This is our delivery of our block and beams. The guys managed to get on the driveway, which is good for us, because we were gonna have to put everything in the compound out there, but instead we can get it all on our little driveway compound. They're gonna fit nicely in this little area here, so they can stay there then until we're ready to get them around the back. So we're doing hammer cam, digger cam, whacker cam, all that. Now we've got Squire's beam grab cam, yes. Beat that, Tony. <laughs> So our 
block and beam is all delivered. Our bricks have just been delivered as well. Next up, we're gonna sort out our ramp for the final time. This is the last ramp. Jay, we're not building any more ramps after this. No, it's like our fourth ramp. Yeah, I reckon so. <laughs> it's gonna be tight. This is the area of concern here, to be honest, but we'll be fine. We've got a meter between there and the tap barrier is like 820. So we've got, we've got 180 mil. Yeah, there's loads of room. We've built this amazing ramp down here. Hopefully we will be able to get the tap barrier around here. We've measured it, so it should fit on perfectly. But let's see, John's coming around. Didn't think that I'd uh, offer to do it myself. Thought I'd uh, yeah, basically see if John falls over or not. Don't worry, mate, you've got it. It's completely fine. <laughs> Success! 